Paleolithic age or the Old Stone Age is the first period of human history, dating back to 2.6 million years ago up until the Ice Age sometime around 12,000 BCE. Humans of this time, which archaeologists called hominins, used stone as the main material in making tools. They used these tools mainly for foraging, hunting, and fishing which are the primary means of obtaining food. The Paleolithic Age is divided into three periods the Lower Paleolithic, Middle Paleolithic, and Upper Paleolithic. In this video, we are going to tackle about the Middle and the Upper Paleolithic period together with the development of technology and culture in these times. The Middle Paleolithic period spanned about 300,000 to 30,000 years ago when the Neanderthals appeared and flourished. They produced a new type of stone tool kit called Mosterian Industry, which is described by the appearance of a stone cutting or reduction process known as the Levallois Technique. They were hafted tools that combined multiple elements such as a pointed stone head added to a wooden stick creating spears. Triangular axes, scrapers, and edge tools are other tools created in the Middle Paleolithic which are mainly used for hunting. The life of hunters and scavengers is nomadic, traveling vast points of the earth. The people used land bridges to move from one place to another, and as their population grew over time, small groups moved out of their larger group and traveled further to find their own hunting area. The Middle Paleolithic period marked a transition from scavenging times to the period of hunting and gathering for food. Some settlements were built near their hunting grounds which is believed to imply that the Neanderthals were territorial of their lands, especially during hunting and gathering. The Neanderthal diet consists of mostly rhino and mammoth meat, besides other meats such as bison, cattle, reindeer, and wild boar. In addition to their diet, Legumes, grasses, fruits, seeds, and nuts were also it. The Neanderthals were believed to practice egalitarianism in their groups. Women and children were joining the men in hunting, and it was believed that women most likely held highly respected roles or positions, such as elders or shamans in their communities. An essential cultural innovation of the Middle Paleolithic is their burials. An example is the burial site found in the Shanidar Cave where a family cemetery is believed to be found. This shows people's attitude and belief towards death. The Upper Paleolithic, also known as the Late Stone Age, is the last period of the Paleolithic era, spanning about 40,000 to 12,000 years ago. Humans in this era, which were the Homo sapiens, were new in anatomy and produced more innovative tools and creative culture. Some of the distinctive characteristics of the Upper Paleolithic includes their improved hunting technology, more diverse toolkits, long-distance raw material trade networks, use of portable and parietal art, and the use of some type of language. Stone tool industries invented in this era were Pericordian, Aurignacian, Solutrian, and Magdalenian of Europe. These industries were mainly blade-based and became the preferred technology of the Upper Paleolithic era. One of the major reasons for the success of this period is the development of projectile tools and weapons such as the harpoons and bows and arrows. These new weapons made hunting much more easier as the hunters did not need to get as close to the prey in order to kill it. The invention of fishing tools also allowed the people to further widen their food source. Some Upper Paleolithic societies built huts or tents nearby streams or rivers using wooden supports or mammoth bones as an alternative to caves. People started to trade coatings and flints for hundreds of miles, making sculptures, tracking the moon, and burying their dead. Language was believed to emerge in this time as the people traversed vast lands, established settlements, created tools, traded supplies, and instituted social hierarchies in cultures. 
The well-known artistic developments of this period are cave paintings and mobility arts. The Las Cox Cave, which is probably the most famous site in the Upper Paleolithic, contains nearly 2,000 figures usually of animals, human figures, and abstract designs. The most common theme of these cave paintings are large, wild animals that the humans usually hunt such as bison, deers, and horses. Mobility art includes the prominent figurines such as the Venus and sculpted antler and bone bars carved with the depiction of animals. During the Upper Paleolithic period, the societies adopted the stereotypical division of labor where men hunted and women gathered. The only social class seen in the whole Paleolithic period is mainly the division between men and women. The Upper Paleolithic was marked by a progressive climatic degradation which was believed to have caused some of the socio-economic changes that happened that time. Environmental productivity decreased due to deforestation. A decrease in mobility and increase in the population density was also seen. But despite these changes, humans still fought to develop their technologies in order to overcome these changes. The evolution of man from the Neanderthals to Homo sapiens aided in the development of the technology and culture of the Paleolithic period. Having better brain capacity and improved anatomy allowed the Homo sapiens to innovate the tools and cultures of the previous periods. The Old Stone Age is not only a period of history. Spanning such a huge time frame, it shows the development of cultures, science, and technology made by the people through time.